All right, welcome back to the Make or Break shop. This week, we're gonna talk about all the different things that this laser cutter can cut and not just engrave. So a little while ago, I put out a video on this laser cutter that's 50 watts that I got from China from eBay. You can check it out up there. There's a quick overview on what it came with as well as kind of getting it set up. And I did a couple of quick engraves, but as the comments showed later, I never actually showed it cutting anything. So in this video, we're gonna go through all the different things I've been using this thing for to cut specifically. So let's get into the very first thing, and that's gonna be this quarter inch plywood. I haven't gotten anything thinner, which you definitely can do. We're gonna throw it onto the laser and we're gonna cut out some test pieces so you guys can see what it can do. So this is that quarter inch plywood and this is the penny. You can see right now, this thing is cutting it out. All right, so there's two different ways you can adjust the power of this thing. First off is the actual power of the laser. I don't go over 50% because you're gonna blow out your laser tube really fast, and you can also control the speed. If you want to have a stronger cut, you either increase the power or you lower the speed and vice versa. Again, I am pretty new at this. There are some links right there on some guys that are doing this really well. Uh, one thing that does happen because of this is you're gonna get this char mark um, that's just a result of the laser. And so you're gonna have to sand this off if you don't want it. Versus if you're using the CNC, you're gonna get a cut just like you're using a router because this is a router. So that's a big difference. So next up, let's talk about clear acrylic. You can actually buy this for pretty cheap at the big box store. It's gonna come in big sheets. It is like this. And actually let's figure out the size of this real fast, hold up. All right, so this is about 0.094 inches or two and a half millimeters. So still a good bit thinner than quarter inch plywood. The biggest thing I found with cutting acrylic, and really this is with plastics at all, the fumes are really strong. So I have an exhaust and that's going right out my window. You wanna make sure you have that exhaust going somewhere. This is an example of what I have done with it. I'm working on a kitchen build right now. So this is a clear piece of acrylic because I painted the back black. Uh, I also engraved it so that you can see there are letters on the inside. Um, these are really cool. Another example of actually cutting it out. You can make these boxes. Mine is pretty uh, nasty because I had the plastic melting underneath. I didn't clean it up super well, but you can cut these out, glue them together, and uh, you can use them for all different types of things. We've got through cardboard. We've got the one and only Tony Stark. Try to cut through a graham cracker. All right, so this shape is probably a little bit too, yeah, it's gonna be too hard. Didn't work, but you can engrave it. And so we've got Hydra hanging out. So you can also cut out some pretty crazy stuff. In this case, we're gonna cut out a leaf and we're gonna put a few Marvel characters on them. We've got good old Captain America, Iron Man, and his eye kind of got messed up. And the one and only Thor kind of looks like Jesus. Hulk smash. Ah. And for fun, you can't cut through this with the type of laser I have, but you can engrave on lots of hard things. A lot of people use tile. I found this rock, and since we've been doing lots of Avenger stuff, might as well have that. I'm just gonna hide this in our backyard. And one last cardboard project. This is a little bit more involved, but not only can you cut out Tony Stark onto a piece of cardboard, you can make a piece of cardboard turn you into Iron Man. So this is where I really think a laser can shine. You can cut out tons of different pieces really quickly if you've got the templates. In my case, I actually did this wrong. Um, I scored the front side of it, and normally you would score it and then bend it from the back side so it's smooth but you can kind of get the idea. You could do this out of cardboard. You could do this out of foam. You can do a ton of really cool props out of using a laser cutter. I actually have done one other prop on this channel. It was a wand by Harry Potter. You can check that out right there. It is not with a laser, not with a CNC, straight up old school with a lathe. So I'll see you over there in a second. So until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.